morning folks, I'm back again, I kind of keep away, it's uh, the 20th of March today, just been watching the solar eclipse there, I got a little bit of footage, I'll put that on later, it's not the best light because it was cloudy but I managed to get something, Anyway, I'm going to put my boots on today, so that means I must mean business. It's uh, 10 o'clock, so I'm here for a few hours today. As I've uh, finished my work for the week. So before I head up to Throckley for the weekend, I'm going to do some digging. So, I'll see you in a bit. Right, one little job that needs doing today uh, is all of this dead bramble cut down and tidied up for the uh, for the spring because the things are starting to grow. Got me trusty secateurs. These are about old, bloody, I don't know, 50 years old, 60 years old, they not older than that. Probably I got them off John. Anyway, the good thing Just like sharing a sheep. Uh, well, I'll crack on with that. I'm going to look for me, get me rake and get it all back. So make it look nice and tidy. Next time you see it, it'll look bloody lovely. Right there, that's a bit tidier. Got rid of all of the dead brambles and uh, the new brambles that were grown. Let's see if I can spin you around on this tripod. Went all the way back, there's just a little pile of brambles there from this corner here, which I've sorted. But I tell you what, I tell you what, ever since that eclipse, the sun has got some real heat onto it. Like, I'm bloody sweating here. I'm gonna have to uh, take my coat off, I think. First of all, though, I'm gonna have a cuppa. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, as you can see, I'm in the greenhouse again, um, and I've got me bubblegum seed tray holder in action. So I'm going to plant something in it, start something off. I've got some kale, first time I've grown this. So it says on the packet, grow, start sowing now. So that's what I'm going to do. Straightforward enough. I've pre-watered this uh, compost here. It's just the uh, John Innes mix seed and the number one. Oh, there we are. Green. Can you see them? 
Weird. Obviously they're supposed to be like that, like. Unless there's some sort of mutation. So thinly across the top of your pre-watered compost. Few more for good luck. And then there. Thinly cover. With some seed compost. And then firm down gently. I'm just doing what it says on the packet. Can it go wrong like? And then I'll give it a bit of a watering. Now listen to this say uh, watering can it sounds like a bird. Um, also, for the first time, this is another first. I'm going to shift these seeds out of the way. I'm going to try and grow some pumpkin, pumpkins this year. I've got the space for it, so I might as well. I've never tried before. But one of my allotment neighbours, uh, Alex. He grew some last year and they were pretty good. So I'm going to give them a shot. See what happens. So it says single pots, cover seeds, edges, compost. Same again, just uh, plant them on the side. I'm just going to put three in for now, like just because, like I say, I've never grown these before. It's just a, a little experiment, shall we say? I get a little bit of compost. Gently cover. Give them a watering. Voila! Oh, that's tap water, by the way. Um, you're best off using tap water for any any sort of seedlings. Like rain water is a bit too strong for it. Um, anyway, while the sun is shining, I'm going to go outside and put that, the rest of that garlic in. See if there's any difference between that and these ones here. Which also could do with a bit of water, so I might as well do that. So I'm going to put one of them cloves of garlic, like I say, outside. So I'll do that now, season a bit. Right, I've got some garlic cloves here. I split, split that one I got from Wilkinson's last week. I'm going to put them straight in. I've got me a little dibber, because huh, I cannot find me troll. So basically the two inches deep. Six inches apart. Which is where me little stick comes in handy.
this is being there, this soil's being sieved and you know, cultivated fine tilth and all that. Right, that's them. Give them a cover over. I'll just leave that there. The reminders. And a bit of water in. And that's it. So what I'll do when them ones in the greenhouse start sprouting, I'll get them out. See if they make a difference. See what happens. It's all good. Spring's on the way. See you later. Here's the pond from a different angle. Because like I said before, I've tidied up all this bit. I put some ink down there when it comes to that time I've just left I put that them logs there years ago and they've just all like uh, rotted 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 away they have but I'll just leave them there because it's it's good for the wildlife and that's what this is the wildlife area anyway as I was doing a little bit tidying up down there before I noticed there's a couple of wrens now this would be interesting, they were going inside the Bug Hotel. Now, I don't know if they were looking for somewhere to nest, or getting some grass or something for to make a nest, I don't know. So it'll be interesting to find out. I hope they do make a nest in there, it'll be kind of cool. And I have seen them just where that corrugated iron is there. I've seen a few going in like in between the gap so we've got quite a few wrens around here I'll keep you up to date with what happens with the nest well folks that's it on this glorious eclipse day I've done what I wanted to do and now I'm going I'm gonna uh, go and get ready to go to Throckley uh, I am going to try and watch a little bit of that edible garden um, live thing as well. That starts soon, so I hope we can get a little watch of that. Um, should be good. Out. It would have been good to go down, but maybe it's next year. Uh, I am going to this video. This is Friday of the day, but I won't be uploading the video till Monday because like I say I'm going to Throckley for the weekend um, me and Paula tomorrow are going for afternoon tea so that should be fun um, and then at the night time we're going to go and watch a band um, called a Alabama 3 never heard of them like but should be a canny night I might even film some of that and you never know I probably, I probably will like, but I don't know. I'll see what happens. But like I say, this will be uploaded on Monday. So if anything's changed when I come back since today, then I'll film it, but probably not like. Um, so thanks a lot, everybody, for watching, subscribing, commenting, liking, even disliking. Who cares? Uh, just while I'm on the subject of comments, um, Paula this morning texted us and said have you read one of my comments on my, new, my, my last video there uh, I went on had a look I couldn't see what she meant and then um, it's, it's obviously had been deleted so you know comments and that I'm like every everyone else you should know by now I, I like a bit banter you know I don't mind a bit like it crack you know it's a it's, uh, it's all good fun, but when people start making snide personal comments towards me and Paula, 
Now that's not on, and um, I know it's deleted. I don't know if he's who, the person who put it on has actually deleted it. Someone did. Um, but the thing is, I get email notifications, so I know exactly what you wrote, and I didn't think that's on, mate. So you know, stop it. I didn't bother like watching me vids, you know. It's not on, and I, I don't know if anybody else agrees with this, but personal snide horrible comments shouldn't be allowed and, that, and that's not what i want on me on my channel thank you very much anyway to the rest of you i appreciate everything you say and everything you do and everything you you watch and comment and everything it's all great thank you very much from me little annie here and paula so until the next time folks bye Morning folks, it's the 23rd of March today, uh, Monday, I did say I would make a little video if anything had changed on the Monday, because I've, I've just come back from Frockley, we've had a little weekend out, uh, I've made a video, I'll put that up later, probably this one first, um, anyway I'm blabbering, now I did say I was going to, if anything had changed, nothing's grown or anything like that, but one thing has changed, I now have over 1,000 subscribers. So all as I can say is thank you very much. And I would... I'll give everyone a big round of applause there. Like I say, thank you very much everybody. Um, it's much appreciated. I never ever thought I would get anywhere near 1,000 subscribers. But I have and I appreciate every single one of you's all your comments and your likes and everything so thanks a lot keep on subscribing because there's plenty more things to do and see and all that kind of thing um so it's competition time now the prize is a beer can man i'll uh, whoever wins I shall make them one of these and send it obviously in the post. Um, it's a little bird scare if you haven't seen them before. He's become a little bit of a, a star within himself. But So if you would like a very own Biakan man for your garden to scare the birds or whatever away, um, then answer the following question. Now last year I made a video, I wore this, I wore that vest, Dave's allotment, time to crack on. Now the question is, what day did I upload the video where I wore that vest? And who was the band that was mentioned in the video? And you'll know, if you can if you if you can find it so good luck folks if you would like to win a beer can man that's the question so thanks again oh everything thank you uh there's a look on here thank you very much for subscribing there hasn't been any on here for a while so, to that, um, once again folks, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one, later, bye now, ta -ra.